What's going on, guys? Welcome to the channel. Guys, I wanted to jump on here and talk about whether or not it is financially worth it to go special forces. I know what you're thinking, right? We don't do it for the money. I get it, but patriotism doesn't pay the bills, all right? With that said, guys, let's check it out, right? So we'll use the basic pay for Special Forces E7s because that is the common rank within the regiment. Right. If you enter the regiment as an E5 or an E6, you know, within seven to eight years, you're going to make E7, all right? That's the common rank within the regiment. So we'll use the base pay for E7s, the BAH and BAS for E7 as the ground, and then we'll add all the additional siphons onto that amount. As right. we go along, find out what your base pay is, whether you're an E5, an E6, or an E7, and just add all these additional pays to it to come out with your amount, all right? With that said, your first pay is gonna be hazardous duty pay, all right, or airborne pay. Guys, for airborne, you can add $150 to your base pay. Second pay you can add to your base pay is gonna be free fall, all right? Or halo pay. That's gonna be a additional $75 added to your airborne pay for a total of $225. After free fall, we're going to add military dive. That's going to be an additional 215 added to your airborne pay for a total of 365, guys. Now, keep in mind, in order to get free fall and military dive, you have to not only be qualified, you have to be on a dive or a halo team, all right? Just because you go to the school doesn't mean you're going to get the pay. You have to actively be performing those duties, all right? Next, guys, we're going to go to... Pro pay, all right? Now, the pro pay system just changed December of last year. It used to be that everybody got 375, all right? Now it's broken down by ranks, okay? So as an E8, my pro pay is 450 as long as I have conducted my team sergeant time, all right? If you're a pre team sergeant E8, you're gonna get the 375, all right? If you're post, you'll get the 450, all right? If you're on E7 and below, you're gonna get the 375, guys. After pro pay, we're gonna add language pay, all right? Now, language pay is a little tricky, right? The lowest amount you can get is 150. However, the highest amount you can get is $1,000, all right? Let me break this down for you, all right? Now, USASOC has its own language program, all right? They are going to pay you for whatever language you went to school for, all right? That can go as high as $450 to $500 based on your OPI or DLPT scores, all right? Now, you can get paid from USASOC and you can get paid through the Big Army's language program also, all right? Now, I know guys that speak, you know, three to four languages, all right? They apply to get paid through USASOC for one, and then the other two, three, or four, they apply through Big Army to get paid through them also, all right? But keep in mind, the highest amount you can get is 1000 and the lowest you can get is 150 all right? Guys, these are all the extra pays you can expect to receive while you were serving as a Green Beret, all right? Now, there's other pays in there. You got close siphons, so on and so forth, but it all depends on the unit that you're with and what you're authorized, all right? The numbers I just gave you are just the basics that you as a Green Beret can expect to get. I hope this information was helpful, and I'll see you guys in the next video.